Previously on Saving Throw. After a somewhat successful first mission, our party returned to the guild and submitted their full report. All right, then. No, I'm, then I'm, officially, I'm... from me to you, welcome to the Imperial Guild of Adventuring and Heroics. Yay! Let's, Let's go! go! <laughs> Put me in <laughs> coach! Officially inducted into the guild as heroes, the team got some rewards, some rest, and some new relics. Oh, that's such a good one for Junver. You get the comedically small invisibility cape. <laughs> <laughs> and now our newly crowned heroes head off on their new quest in Saving Throw, the Slumbering Garden. Okay. Uh, so that is all of like the housekeeping. Le <laughs> we leveled up. We got our magic items. We spoke to Blackout Billy. This will be a thing that we do every time we come back between missions. Cool. Um, so do we have anything? specific we want to do as characters not really no. yeah so ba There's... basically this is this is an option for like i want to do x with my character i want to go talk to an npc i want to go learn about this thing i want to go train i want to go do this that and the third um or we can just progress to our next quest i mean i, um... I, I could fill out the the lore and just say alistair writes some more songs yeah, like, like you don't need to, like, actually, like, like, if for something that's like, hey, I worked out because I need to be fit for my job, like, I just assume you do that. Yeah. 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 I a, would like yeah. to request, like, that smithing station or whatever in my so, yeah. dorm. Or I, I'll, I'll say you go it. to, like, the clerk who sort of is in the central area of the guild and request that they basically supply you with crafting supplies in your room. And they say in simple terms like they will put a a small magical uh, forge and like leather crafting tools in your in your dorm while you're away excellent so if anyone wants at least non-magical i don't know how magic crafting works but at least non-magical items i should be <laughs> i'll figure make. it out before next time if there's any um returning like uh adventures and stuff like a hall where they typically come back from i would like to see them see if there's any injured ones and then just while treating them or trying to treat them, if I, I'm able to, then I just, take notes just stalks on outside the infirmary, asking if he can, yeah. if he can die, if he can heal people. So, uh, I just literally just, just like sitting in a chair outside the infirmary. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Want me to banish that for you? Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to heal him at the same time. I'll do so, like medicine checks on if you want me to, too. I don't give a shit. So there's obviously an in-house medical staff because almost every time people come back, someone's probably injured to some extent because their job is to go on dangerous missions. Uh, so I'm going to say we're, with the time you go down to the infirmary and basically sure. volunteer your time. Yep. You may have an ulterior motive of wanting to like study or whatever, but they are like more than happy to take you as temporary help. Uh, this is a cool idea and I will expand upon it next time if you choose to do this again. Yeah. The man with the golden mask heals, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 he's already, he's already like, he's already covered up, so you're good. Yeah. I do some very elementary studying of the crystal shard I have. Kirby. Okay. Uh, I don't know I'll... exactly how that would work with the world you've set up, but I do some very elementary look into it. I'm going to say you did this last night because I think it makes a little more sense. Um, so while you're sitting in your room, uh, you are you look over it. Actually, no, we have a whole day because you can do it tonight. It's fine. You look over the crystal and you basically put it into a, a thing like take out like your uh, what are the, like the things that jewelers wear to like see closer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good uh, little fancy it's... monocle with yeah, those, like the, the, zoom. The little jewelers. Yeah. Monocle Oculus thing. Yeah. Uh, and you inspect this thing closer. Give me an arcana check. He's good at those. Yeah, but I rolled a one, but I rolled a nat one, so. No! Oh, yeah! No! We got the nat one, though. We needed that. <laughs> with, Confuse with, grandma with the bingo win <laughs> right now. With a nat one, you basically only reconfirm what you already knew, which I will recap for the sake of it, is that this is obviously an abnormal crystal. Um, and the thing that is like the most noticeable about it is that there is nothing noticeable about it. It is flawless. There are no like naturally occurring flaws that would happen in any rock fixture. And yeah, in crystals. Can I help flavor a natural one for my, for my character? Oh, please. Um, so I'm looking at the crystal and then while doing so, I sort of like 
I sort of drop my pen and it rolls off the table. I then get very curious about how far it rolls once it drops off the table. So I then spend the next two hours dropping my pen on my desk and watching it roll and measuring how far it rolls every time as a much Damn. more exciting experiment. Damn. That's incredible. I get I incredibly that. distracted by an incredibly minute thing and start doing that and completely forget that I was looking at the crystal. It's very good. It's so very good. good. So, uh, Ash, I'm not going to lie here, wastes his day doing pen-based experiments. Yep. <laughs> uh, Chiron. I, I, I attempt to determine whether a pencil falling off a desk is ordered or chaotic. I, I, I reach no conclusion. <laughs> uh, Chiron spends his day assisting uh, the medical staff in the infirmary, helping heroes that come in from, from uh, missions. Um, Alistair spends the day in sort of like the common area of the guild, uh, practicing on his guitar, practicing some new songs, testing stuff out. You get a, you get a polite applause every once in a while from people. Um, <laughs> polite applause. <laughs> uh, uh, I would like to spend the day, uh, go to like the, the Harbor District and see if I can catch up with any like old friends or quite says, gush about my new job. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. So when, when, when goes down to the harbor and sort of like swap stories, with local fishermen, uh, maybe hmm. some people you knew from your, your past time in, in like, you know, just working around port. You're ne necessarily your crew, I wouldn't say is here. No, no, time. no. Just like people um, who I might have seen on the on the dock side or whatever. Yeah. People yeah. are very impressed with your <laughs> job as a hero. I mean, it is an impressive job to have. Um, <laughs> and then particularly when you start telling stories about a harbor that was destroyed in a town, people are like listening. Like there's like a, a, a circle that has gathered around as you're sitting on a barrel and like telling your story. Um, <laughs> and you know, That's people dope. are people are into, into when, to, when the storyteller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Junver. Anything? Yeah. Um, so I know a great deal about just making like normal armor, shields, weapons, stuff like that. Because, you know, there weren't a whole lot of giant blacksmiths that could make things small enough for me to wear or use. So I kind of just had to make them myself is, is kind of what happened. So I got a grasp on that, but I want to have a better grasp on how to like permanently imbue those items with magic power. Because like I have the runes. I know how to temporarily do it. It's a thing I have to do every morning, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know how to make that like a permanent thing. So I want to find someone who can teach me the ways of doing that. OK, I, I, okay. so the capital city, Rotmar, uh, there are many guilds within our world. That's sort of part of the structure that the Empire likes to keep. Um, <laughs> there are guilds of heroes, obviously. Um, the Shattered Guard are technically speaking a guild, although they are uh, at this point a bit too big to be treated like a regular guild. Um, they are more a military force. Uh, there are Shapers who are basically uh, mages that instead of learning combat magic, learn how to create stuff. They are more like architects. Their job is to build very large structures. Particularly, this was vital back when we needed to build cities to save people from monsters that were all over the fucking place. Um, and a as such, their status is still very high and they are very powerful. So um, they're Archmages? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, there are black. the Blacksmith Guild. However, the Blacksmith Guild is divided into two halves. The Blacksmith Guild has two different sects that live within it. One being just a regular run-of-the-mill blacksmith. I hit metal with a hammer until it is sword. Um, the other are magical smiths who smith and create items and then imbue them with magic in, in non-conventional ways. There is a substantial amount of strife between these two parts of the guild as they are both treated as parts of the blacksmith guild, but they do pretty different things but mm -hmm. in the eyes of the Empire, the end result is more or less the same, so they get bundled together. The uh, guilds have areas in town they are more or less in control of. Not control of so much as, like, they are, you know, this is where most of the smithies are, so you, uh, this being a smith here means more than it does across town. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to say you go to this part of town where the smiths hang out. Um, and One of my favorite bands. There are large... <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> talk on Smith's reference yeah. references. Um, there are large open forges here where people that like, you know, are part of the guild, but maybe don't have their own shop can come and work. Mm -hmm. um, and these areas are, are quite 
open to public if you want to come on in just obviously don't touch anything um and uh sitting here there are plenty of people there are people teaching there are people just kind of like hanging around talking about the craft um and off to the side sort of sitting by themselves there is a large minotaur blacksmith um you see he is working on something Whatever it is, he has a very small hammer and he's delicately tapping it. But then every once in a while, you see him cast something onto his hammer and then return to his work. Hmm. Uh, you watch this with Minotaur for a while. But my question is, is does Jenver approach him or does Jenver just watch? Um, I am going to approach. Um... You're, so you're sitting there and he's working. Uh, as you approach, you see he is working on either a circlet or a tiara, something to go on someone's head. Um, and after a while, he notices you standing there and he looks up. Yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I know how to be a smith, but I'm trying to figure out how to do magic other than just runes. I can do runes. Runes are great. They're temporary, though. Uh, he continues working while speaking to you. Do you you mean like enchantment or what's what? Sorry, what's the problem? My runes are really cool and they do great things, but they're <laughs> they're they last for a day. I want to figure out how to make weapons and armor and you know, stuff that lasts for a lifetime. Hmm. Sure. Why not? See that shop over there? And he points to a shop that has Langrims like, as a name hung on the side of it. <laughs> Go there another day when I'm not busy. And he returns to his work. Will do. Thank you. Um, and I, in, in, in the interest of, I gave David a lot more time than everybody else. Um, that is our day. Well, he actually has something that I prepared for. Um, so you all spend your day doing your activities. You're, you're a little bit of alone time before reconvening for, for dinner and then to go back to sleep. And the next day you all wake up as the sun comes up and begins to pour light into your rooms. And you guys get up much as the rest of the city does, you know, all off to start their days. Um, however, as you rise, how you all rise for your next mission uh, and make your way out of the guild apartments and towards the office proper. Okay. The clerk outside the office tells you all to head in, but as you do so, it seems that the three guild heads aren't actually ready, at least not quite yet. And in fact, they seem to be having maybe not an argument, but certainly a heated discussion. Marin is the one you hear speaking. It doesn't matter who is fit. It matters who is ready, and they are ready. Besides, they have a doctor. We can send reinforcements. And upon seeing you all enter, she stops. Good. You're already here. We have an urgent dispatch for you five. Fessler, brief them. They have a doctor? And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you, not, do you not have a doctor? You're supposed to have a doctor in this party. I look at I look Chiron directly in the fucking face and say, <laughs> "Not as a dino." You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't see that the the bloody red eyes of fucking behind the golden mask are thinking of which ways chemically I could dissolve Alistair's skin in front of his compadres to make him embarrassed the most. But behind, you can't tell behind the mask, though. So. Kyron's gonna make a requisition for a large vat in his room full of acid. <laughs> he's done such little healing. I didn't know he was a doctor. I'm sorry. He healed you! Uh, Vessor sighs at Marin's like, disposition. He clearly looks displeased by whatever they were talking about. Uh, what, what the High Protector means is that a request has come in that, against normal practice, we are moving directly to the head of the queue. Please understand that we are working off very, very limited information here, and this is not normal, especially for your second mission. We are sending you all to the Isle of Stay. Win, can I have a history check? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to the Island of Forgotten Toys. <laughs> it's a 16. <laughs> With a 16. So you know the Isle of Stay. However, you know basically what most people know about the Isle of Stay, which is it's importance is that it's unimportant and its location is 
uh, if Zach would actually pan up on his screen oh, sure, because it is, oh, out, my it is God. out of the view, uh, it is the furthest landmass away from the mainland. Like the uh, Urca An or Urca on that it says? Or no, the, the uh, little tiny island you, on the right? You, you see you at the end of the word Empire, there's a small yep, island? it's that. That That is stay. Okay. Is um, that stay, S-T-A-Y? Yes, like the word. Okay. Um. Yeah, so the Isle of Stay, it's mostly known for, yeah, being very far away. It is far from the rest of the landmass. It is like, you know, part of the empire, but like, it. there's not really a reason to go there unless you are literally going to go. Um, it, it's, it's sort of by itself in the middle of nowhere. The, as far as people know, the sea to the east of Stay is endless. Um, like people have gone and looked and never come back or gone as far as they can and been like, hey, we didn't find shit. We came back. Um, is this where the billionaires stash their offshore accounts? <laughs> yeah, the, the tax laws here, insane. In their stay bank yeah. accounts. <laughs> um, that's what continues. Uh, we've received a message requesting assistance as several of the inhabitants have fallen asleep and they appear to be trapped in a sleeping state due to some unknown magical means. I really wish we had more to go on here, but this only arrived for us this morning. Uh, once you have arrived, you're looking for a Shayra. Uh, they were the one to call us as, and as it's noted here, the village elder was not the one to call for aid as they are asleep themselves. Oh. Excuse me, could you give me that name of contact again? Shayra, S-H-A-W, uh, not W, Y, God. Shara. Uh, yeah, sorry. S H A Y R A. I was looking at a different cool. thing at the same time. Thank you. Okay. Um, and you you believed yeah, in ahead. you you believed in us over any other higher ranking members, even though I believe our capabilities are above what we're ranked, but uh you believed in us over anybody else that could have gone on this mission? Yes. Um <clears throat> Lady Marin, I, I do believe there are an explanation as to what makes this objective so high priority. And Marin looks rather annoyed at being told to tell you basically anything, but she does oblige. I'm assuming all, or at least most of you, are familiar with the name RLA. Um, ironically, uh, Ash received uh, this person's item earlier. RLA uh. is another one of the 11 heroes that survived. Okay. Um, so those of you that would know the names, which I believe we have determined is all of us, mm -hmm. you would know RLA is, yes, one of the heroes that survived the encounter with the Sky Eater. Marin continues. After we won, lots of us stayed together, built up cities, the guild, kept hunting the cult and the Sky Eater's monsters, blah, 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 blah. You know the stories. And RLA stayed with us for a while, but rather quickly, well, she left. And she went about as far away as she possibly could. We sort of took the hint, I guess. But she moved to stay, and the first we heard from her was that she was helping a small town there grow. Simple enough to say any communication we got from her was short and to the point. But they seemed to be doing well. Uh, you know, the town was growing. I understand she took a younger hero under her wing. All well and good. About six years ago, RLA passed. The Elder let us know that, and well, that and a new star appeared in the sky. And now, the first thing we hear from Stay since, and they need our help. I'm not going to sit here and act innocent in my intentions. I want you to make sure the town is alright, because RLA was my friend, even if she wasn't a terribly good friend, and neither was I. <laughs> You're an absolute unit, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I respect the commitment you made to your physical. Just to uh, just to be clear, well -being. Is, is Shara Arle's? Uh... No. Okay, it's just another person. Okay. Or oh, at least you don't know that information. Okay. Like you, been, cool. they, they don't Fair. have the name. Of the cool, cool, cool. All right. How, can we can we go pretty quickly here? I'm, is I'm there, ready to go. But is it is there any other news we need to know? Any other details you can give us? Uh, as I said, this literally only came in this morning. Um, we we know basically what we just told you. Um, there will be a strong call, call stone somewhere in town. Uh, please do not hesitate to update us on the state of the town. And Marin adds quickly. Uh, and if you need reinforcements, tell us right away. Okay, are we ready? 
Uh, one second. Uh, Alistair, did you pass those call stones to someone else besides yourself? I know you have a massive ego, but uh, you can talk to more than just yourself with the call stones if you pass them out to somebody else. No, so. uh, Chiron, I think this is actually a great point uh, because of, of our entire party, the two that would like to be the farthest away from each other would be you and me, so... <laughs> Should you and I have uh, the, the call stones? Uh, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> no, but seriously. Thank that, you, that, evil that, laugh, that, 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 that was a serious question. Okay, I'm just handing him the other call stones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> Any other questions? They don't have many answers for you, but... No, this seems to be all we're going to get, so... Yeah. Uh... Good. Darme, send them. She orders I braced myself. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, Darme has a bit of like an uneven expression on her face, but still she extends her hands and they begin to glow with that magical light. Um, and just as before, the ground beneath you begins to change. The circle of magic like encloses around you. Um, so long for now. Darme speaks uh, before all at once there is a flash of light and you fall and you are somewhere else. And as you tumble towards the ground, once again, give me a dex check. Hey, I like these. Uh, 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 you said dick check. I, I like those too. 16 or 19. 19. Uh, it's another 14 for me. 14. A 12. A 12. That's better. Uh, 24. 24? Yeah. Jeez, Pete. Hey, man. Uh, I got a five. I, I got oh. a five. Uh, on your third time teleporting, uh, you guys, you know, you've, it's at least happened a little bit before. You're getting more used to it. All of you land on your feet, except Junver. <laughs> uh, Junver is still quite heavy. You just kind of fall flat on your back uh, and take one damage. Hmm. Uh, I extend a hand oh, to help no. Junver up, by the way. I get up by my own power. Okay. <laughs> and I, look at, so. I, I look at my gloved hand and then disgust and then I, uh, you know, Regret actually reaching out the hand. I t Ash makes a big stretch and goes, Mission two already off to a better start. <laughs> Good. I was muted because I'm a dummy, but I was trying to say before we got in the portal that I give <laughs> give Ash an emotional support <laughs> buckler in case you Aww, puke again. The moment, the moment. <laughs> the moment's gone. Um, it's a pretty place. It'll be pretty until we get done with it. <laughs> this thing's going to hell in a hand basket. Fire, right? Right? I was gonna say at the end, the end of this mission, it's the same picture but on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on. Fire. But there's a gigantic sludge monster, and you guys are like, we bail, we, we yeah. give up. <laughs> we didn't do this. Oh shit! We should, to, we should have some reinforcements. Marin, the sludge monster was there when we got there. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, um, you all arrive on the island of Stay to find it rather peaceful. Uh, in fact, it's more or less just a lovely little forest town. Uh, in the distance, you can see some farmland, but for the most part, the town is lush and verdant, with forests surrounding the town on pretty much all sides. Uh, the town is quite small, and from pretty much every angle you look, you can see where the town begins and ends. Uh, the population of the town, apparently quite small, judging by the number of houses and buildings spread across, uh, and as you all sort of, like, move about, uh, a few people bustle around. It's early, but people are still running about. Everyone seems to be doing things, but not in a normal sense. People rush around carrying linens, buckets, supplies, and tools. Some run off towards the outskirts of town, but some seem to be heading up the hill in the center of town and out of sight. Uh, in the middle of the town's clearing, an elf seems to be directing people, but they look frazzled and not very on top of themselves. Okay. Hmm. Um... But, uh, <clears throat> hello, uh, is is everything okay here? Hey, hey, great! Can you two? Oh, oh, my stars! Are are you, are you all from the guild? We are. Yeah, yeah. you guessed it. They seem to start speaking before they even realize you're not from here, <laughs> and then they instantly look confused. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't think you'd get here so fast. We only sent for you this morning. I know it's a rush job. Your lucky day. Yeah. We got friends Apparently, in high places. We got some friends in the guild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, that's great. Um, so, uh, uh, what do you know? Um, how can I help you? And what do we do? Fair. Pretty much all we know is that people are asleep. I, I was hoping you could tell us what you know. Yeah. 
We were told to meet someone named Shayra. Do you know who that is? Oh, yes, that's me. This is good. This is great. Okay. Um, hi, you? I'm Shayra. I can don't I, know what to do. And can I insight check if this <laughs> this, this person, this uh, elf? So yeah, they're a, they're a medium sized elf, long long hair, slight build, just very like classically elf. Looking. Coincidentally, we just um, happened upon a person we would need to be here, but you know. <laughs> Down for it's it. It's a small town. It's a small town. Know. They're standing out. They don't know what nah, to I'm do. Good. Um, uh, 20, 20, uh, 26. I got a natural yes. 20 on it. So, so uh, with an insight check, which is not a lot of tech, um, yep. you Oof. can tell that this person, like, was completely caught off guard by your mm. presence. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, doesn't seem you would not assume that they had the wherewithal to plan out a fancy lie mm. upon seeing you. Um, and uh, they are like equal parts relieved you are here and like lost on what to do next now that you are here. Shira, <laughs> uh, when, when, when you turned to see us five, you said you too. Uh, for, for, did you have two other people with you doing something? No, no, she was like directing, like she thought you, oh, you, you guys okay. were coming to help. Sorry. Right. I, I thought I, you were like members of the town and she was trying to direct you. I thought you were realized, weaving in a, oh, a, a very elaborate story and I was trying to catch you in a thing. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, sorry. Uh, I guess take us to where the sleeping elders are and uh, give us the story along the way. Okay, right. Um, Give me just a minute. I need to, uh, and after a while you hear, Hey, Shayra! Uh, a, and the a princess voice calls, is in power. And <laughs> you turn, nice, you turn to see running towards you a halfling. Uh, he's like, hey, I got that there herb you were looking for. I got stung pretty bad by the mud bees, but it ain't nothing old goose can't handle. Wait, I was this saying, world has ha mud bees? I was just saying, halflings yeah, are a known bees, quantity. Dude. That's the problem with them. Also, mud bees sounds like a fast food chain. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> down to mud bees. And get, and get a slop burger. <laughs> yeah, they got a great happy hour, though. Oh, thank the Mud bees is a uh, direct competitor to Applebee's. Exactly. <laughs> it's a lot dirtier. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank the stars. Great timing, Goose. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, heroes. I didn't get your names. We didn't get yours, Goose. What? No, no, what? no this is Shayra. This is, this is Shayra. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you can call me Ash. Alistar. When? That's I Chiron and that's Jumper. <laughs> <laughs> that's Chiron and that's Jumper. They don't and use the verse. I was gesturing towards Junver first. <laughs> well, I'm we couldn't say, see that in our audio medium, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah. And collectively, uh, you can call us the dream name. team. <laughs> it's a dream team. <laughs> that's, that's bad. Let's workshop it. That's, yeah. that's context for the sleeping village. <laughs> Let's workshop it. <laughs> that's terribly rude, all things considered. Um, yes, well, this is, hey, fellas, I'm Goose Everson. Goose Everson. Hi, Goose. Yeah, his name's Goose Everson. Uh, Goose is our. Uh, Prefer if you were an untitled Goose at this where's, point. Now, where's where's Iceman at? I don't, oh wow, wow! Fucking uh, Top Gun reference. I mean, it can't, uh, they did release a new one this year. You, so you, 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 so. you, you stay away from any planes. You yeah. took that. You took that. My breath away with that one, man. <laughs> uh, it it is G O O S. There's no E at the end, but yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Goose is our local hero, but this sort of thing doesn't really Ooh. fall into his realm of um, expertise. So a real quick thing about heroes. You guys are government assigned heroes, right? Uh -huh. You guys, you went to school for this. You have your yep. degree effectively. Uh, there is nothing preventing a regular ass person from just being a good person and helping the town or whatever. Do they get access um, to magic though? So in, in the instant that this becomes a recurring thing, it isn't just like, I saved my town from a dragon, I want to never do that ever again. And in the case someone continually acts this way, they can be appointed a hero and they become a hero in the eyes of the government. However, they are not like you sent on missions. They just live in their town and are allowed to continue their regular life while also <laughs> doing heroism if it calls upon them. And do they get paid for this? They are not. I assume paid. not. Yeah, that they're like sucks. volunteer heroes. Anyway, anyway, I got that herb for you. Okay. Yes. Um, Goose, could you actually could you show them 
everything. And please bring that herb to forest and see if he can't do anything with it. I am going to continue trying to keep everything functioning. How many people are awake in your town? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, it started with four sleeping, then nine more. So that's, that's 13. I'm Goose Everson. Uh, now <laughs> half the town. Yeah, I think we got about a little bit left than half the town left left awake. Oh, it's it's Which contagious. Is how many? How, how, how many is that? Um, so this is a small town. Uh, there's probably roughly 35 to 40 asleep and then 20 ish or less awake. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so crazy. he's bad at making fucking estimates <laughs> and it's a lot more than half the town is asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean that's not like that's not like an intrinsic part of the detail. A lot of people are asleep, is what you need to know. I thought you were say a lot of <laughs> people are bad it's at math. Gaining too, <laughs> yeah. the, the the more important thing is there are less people awake okay. than are currently. Yeah. All right, Mr. Goose, okay. when these people go to sleep, do they have any contact with the other members who are go are asleep pr uh, previously? Do they get in contact? Do they touch them physically or in their presence? Well, it sort of it sort of spread like wildfire. You see, uh, it happened. I don't know. It just happened to four different people at once. Oh, here's the thing. It wasn't like nighttime. It wasn't sleeping time. It was just the middle of the day, and we found them across town. I, it might not have been the exact moment, but roughly all at the same time, they all went to sleep. And then uh, the next day, across the day, people started dropping like flies in the middle of work day, in the middle of anything. Okay. And they just keep getting worse. So you didn't answer my question in any capacity. What was your question? Uh, <laughs> you didn't. I didn't mean him to not answer your question. No, I know. It's just funny to me. Uh, do they have contact with the others that go to sleep? Uh, 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 Direct not, physical touch. Well, anything? I mean, it's a small town. Everybody knows everybody. But no, I mean, they were all in different places when they fall asleep. Well, yesterday, I don't think that was the case. I think some of them fell asleep at the same time in the same place yesterday. But that's just because there's more of them. So to to expand on that, so the original four people that fell asleep completely separate. They weren't even near each other. Mm. The next the next batch of people was nine people. Um, none of them are also none of them were physically t at the same location. The next day, a shitload more fell asleep. And now, like at that point, it was yes, some of them were in physical proximity to each other, but it's unclear if that that's related or yeah. if it's just because that many people fell asleep at once. It's so it's spreading almost like a disease, yeah. but without any direct contact that would imply the transmission of a disease. Is is there uh, any connection between the original four so that you can uh, identify? Well, one's a baker, one's a farmer. Um, one's a candlestick maker. No, the other two, well, they're like uh, bar hands, I guess you'd say, but different bars. We only got two. Damn. Has there been anyone new in the town recently? Other than us, of course. Ain't, ain't, nobody, move, ain't nobody moved to stay since I've been alive. And uh, how long have you been here? If you don't mind my asking, Goose. Well, good old Goose Everson's about 31 years old. Ah, I'm Goose Everson. And you're, you're, you, <laughs> you, you were born and raised here instead. Yep, yeah, everybody I know born and raised here. Has anyone attempted... Do you have any mages who know detect magic who have tried to uh, determine any sort of magical source from this? Well, oh, that's actually great. We got Forrest. Uh, uh, Cheryl wanted me to run this herb up to him. He's sort of our uh, go-to for anything... Uh, magical ever since RLA uh, ain't, ain't here no more. My condolences, by the way. Tragic passing, my condolences. Mm. Mm. What has been done? Yes, what, what have you tried so far? Oh, well, so here's the thing. Our, our doctor, well, he was we only got the one and he was trying to do his best. He, uh, he tried, he took some, 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 uh, samplays, uh, and then he tried some herbal remedies with uh, forest's help. That's more his specialty. Uh, they tried some regular old medicine, uh, and, and nothing was working, but then unfortunately the, the doctor's asleep as well. So, uh, we're kind of, we're kind of running out of ideas. I turn to Chiron. And I say, well, damn, I wish we had a doctor that could help you with this. Uh, <laughs> Oh, they, they sent a doctor? No, I said I wish we had fun. Oh, damn. I just play guitar, so. 
Nah, that's fine. I'm and and I'm harmonica. working on harmonica now. <laughs> if this campaign ends before Chiron and Al before Chiron or Alistair kills the other one, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm building a great like our great yes. like, rival friendship. He has, or, yes, he has, he has. It's, it's not a rivalry or a friendship. What J Chiron he has is going to kill zero you. chance. <laughs> he, he, he has zero chance to beat me. By the way, he will die and probably around. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I'm not built for combat. Like straight up, yeah. straight up. I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Okay, so okay. the doctor in town is asleep. He was collecting sand plays. Um, okay. You're... What have you done to try to wake people up? So he he basically gave the gist of it, but I'll explain. Like, so they tried originally. They quickly deduced this was like not normal sleep. Yeah. Um, so they tried the obvious stuff, like, hey, wake up. Um, yep. And like none of that did anything. Um, they then tried medicine, seeing if like a, a stimulant or something would would get them to get up. Nothing worked. Nothing did anything. And then there is a forest. There is a the person named Forest. There is a uh, like a like a uh, botanist or like an herbalist in town who was trying to make some sort of concoction to wake them up, God. but okay. that hasn't worked yet. Uh, Goose does have an herb he's supposed to deliver to Forest so he can attempt another one of these. Well, uh, have could you we tried? You, could we accompany you to meet this forest, this forest individual? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll show you around all the important stuff. Luckily, uh, you know, there ain't much to see. <laughs> Goose, could you could you could you possibly lower your voice just a little bit? It's just a little. It's just hitting the those those pitches that just really. Is that my mic is clipping, or are you just talking about Goose being loud? Yeah, no, I just don't love Goose's voice. I'm just telling oh, okay. him to stop being so loud. <laughs> well, annoying. I'm Goose Everson, and this Goose is cooked. That's how I talk, man. Get over it. Okay. If, <laughs> if there's potentially if there's potentially <laughs> foul odors in this air that is putting people to sleep, whether magically or chemically, oh, I odors. advise. <laughs> I'm gonna switch my mask, and I have a fox one that has like tattoos on it and then I'll, I'll put like a gill thing like on my corner thing that like right, right here which make, move, folks. which facilitates fresh air and in my mask whenever I have it on so oh. okay. yeah so you're basically covering so you don't like breathe any toxins correct yeah That's dope, dope. and I would advise Alistair to actually keep his fucking uh, keep as open breathe as much as you can actually <laughs> get right up in their face if you the faster you get put to sleep the better for our party uh, <laughs> yeah so I, I changed my mask out to like this fox tattooed one and try to fil filter my air now. So Goose leads you up the the main hill of the town. And this there's not much going on in this town, as I said before. This is clearly like an older part of town. You walk past, past a stone embankment that sort of acts like a wall as if this were a walled city, but it's not much of anything. And you enter a where the buildings look substantially older, but not like too, too much. This town has not expanded a lot as long as it's been here, as hard as you can tell. Um, and you pass by a large, or the only really large building in town, which is sort of this open air pavilion. Um, and you see basically lined up here are all of the people sleeping, put into either beds or makeshift like cots. Mm. Uh, Goose like sort of passes <gasps> by and like gestures in. And he goes, well, that's, I mean, that's everybody. We, we started keeping them in houses at first, mm. but then we started running out of space. Uh, question, Goose, because uh, cause obviously I'm sure everyone who is still awake is worried about this. Uh, is everybody resisting the urge to sleep, or is it uh, that you just get very tired and... You, I, I guess I'm asking more like... Well, everybody's scared shitless to go to sleep, if that's what you're okay, asking. great. Um, uh, but yes, that's uh, it's, asking. it seems like if you go to sleep regular, you're actually okay. It's just... If you suddenly fall asleep, you ain't getting up. Oh, okay, thank you. That's that is what so I needed to know. He, most people were just out when they fell asleep. <laughs> However, it seemed to it's it's getting more random because like there's a larger sample size. Yeah. Um, uh, where like some people went to sleep and didn't wake up, whereas the vast majority of people, yeah, were just doing something else. Suddenly fell asleep and stayed out. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um. <laughs> Uh, we, I guess, we, we can we can come back and inspect them in a, in a little bit. We gotta get this over for us, though. Uh, luckily, the wise tree's right over there. He guides you over to a large tree. Um, is the next image? No, it's after the goose. Yeah. Uh, 
this tree, uh, who has nature proficiency? Oh, I do. Wayne, can I have a nature check, please? Don't think Pretty sure I, I do. do. I definitely don't. I have a negative. Oh, an <laughs> intro thing. Uh, 15. This, he guides you to a tree. This is a very large tree, like way larger than anything else around it. And by just looks alone, this tree doesn't fit the rest of the ones grown here. This is not like a regular tree to grow in this in this area. It's not like native to it or whatever. Um, and the other thing you can tell about it, and like just from looking at the fucking thing, this tree is magic. This is a magical tree. Like yeah. it is grown somehow in part with magic. Are magic trees something I may have seen before? Or is this like so? Yeah, any any anything can grow magically it's just like a part of nature right like sometimes mm -hmm. something just has more of that magical natural energy in it um yeah. they're not common usually they're, they, they'd be treated as landmarks or something as like you know impressive to see think like natural wonders of the world mm -hmm. um but i may have seen like one or two others i would like... say as a sailor you yeah. probably encountered or at least heard of quite a few of them right okay so this isn't like unique in the world but it's like special Yes. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Well, this is the wise tree. Uh, uh, Woody, uh, the forest lives in here. Ah, oh, beans. Um, <laughs> and he walks up and literally knocks on the tree. Mm. Um, and skittering out from inside of it is a squirrel. Like, oh. like from a hole, or like there's a door carved like, into like, it. Like from a hole. Okay. So like, sure. Right. Uh. And, and it's where he knows this is a pretty big squirrel. In fact, that's a pretty fat squirrel. Hello. Hi. Hey. Squirrel. Hey, hey. <laughs> no knocking on the tree. I'm working here. I'm working on very valuable, uh, precise potions in here, Goose. What do you want? Uh, and Goose offers him up the herb. He goes, oh, that's great. Hang on one second. And he skitters back inside his, his thing. He comes back out moments later. Okay. That's working. What's going on? Who are these fucking schmoes? We're we from the guild. ourselves. Like I, I'm not. Yeah, we're yeah. not doing this again. <laughs> Mellis, Mellis, this here's my buddy Forrest, and he goes, "We're not buddies." And uh, I prefer Woody. This mystical squirrel is uh, Forrest Woody, <laughs> named uh, after patron Mystic Woody. Hell yeah! Uh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, I was about to what? yell at you again for not naming this after a patron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he continues on. Um, look, that's great. Uh, I'm glad they sent heroes and all. I'm actually working on solving this problem, so if you guys got want to go take a look around, that's great. Well, we just got here, so we couldn't have, okay, you know. Not to interrupt <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> because you're obviously doing very important work, but what, 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 what do you know so far? Because we are, we are here to help. He sighs. <sighs> okay. No, you're right. You're right. My bad. Um, everything's terrible, and I've That's tried everything world. I know. Let's start with that. Hi, I'm Woody. Um, I'm the closest thing this town has to anyone that knows how to, uh, make potions worth a fuck. <laughs> um, Aww. and RLA left me her book, uh, when she passed, and I've gone through every single thing in it, and none of the remedies have woken anyone up. So at this point, I'm kind of free balling. Okay. Uh, pretty cool right. that you have a book from one of the heroes. I mean, we were friends, but yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, <laughs> hey, even better. Um, she can be your hero and a friend. That's fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> she can be your hero, baby. I don't, I, was gonna say. I don't know the chords to that. I'm not going to pull my guitar out. Uh, right. Uh, do you have any other leads at the moment, or is there like some crazy uh, special mushroom uh, that there's only one of in the island, and you want us to get it, but it's guarded by a dragon or something? Oh, right, you guys aren't from here. There's fuck all to do here at Stay. Um, we Oof. don't have, we had, we had a dragon once, actually dipshit over here, killed it, points to Goose. Um, <laughs> Uh, we don't nice. get stuff like nice. that. Yeah. 
<laughs> I high five Goose. Yeah, that's fucking yeah, awesome. I'm Goose Everson. <laughs> Impress um, the Goose. I already, I already had my character arc. I'm just here now. <laughs> oh, I love little, that. That's awesome. Um, uh, we don't like like stuff. We we came here, Arla and me, to get away from all the weird stuff, right? Um, we we picked this place intentionally because shit like this doesn't happen. So. Uh, no, I mean, I got Goose running to get me some herbs to try stuff, but I'm I'm officially out of ideas. I do, okay, out of ideas isn't entirely, I have one idea, it is bad. Okay. Shoot. We love everyone's, bad ideas. Everyone's falling asleep, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> they don't, that's yeah. what we're told. You they want don't want to be. You want one really loud sound. I can do that. I'm okay, good at being loud. Two, I now have two ideas. But first, um, w- nobody wants to fall asleep and they just drop, right? What if we intentionally got really, really tired magically and see if that did anything? Okay. Mm. Wow, when you said bad idea, I thought it would be something better than I that. I cannot stress, I have tried everything. <laughs> uh, as an idea, uh, and I just asked because, I, you know, hey, I just got here. I don't. I don't want to assume you tried anything. Does anybody here know dispel magic? Because <laughs> if if somebody's tried it already, I don't want to burn a spell slot. Okay. <laughs> you look. I understand that we're a bumfuck town. I am a mystical squirrel. I tried dispel magic. That's all. That's all I'm asking. No, it's thank fine. You, I get it. Thank get you. It. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> And have you, I mean, have you tried detect magic? (laughs) (laughs) And it's so what to tell you. They have have tried. I love that I asked, hey, did you try a third level spell? And Ash is like, did you try a first level spell, though? Um, They they did try detecting magic. Um, And so the only thing they were able to detect is that what has put them asleep is magical. However, it is inside of the people who mm. are sleeping. Okay, mm. that's. Wait, I think we just. I, I just. Iron, was... cut them open and take the magic out. I was just <laughs> going to say that. Wait, can we do? Can, is this gonna be? Is this gonna be? What's that movie called where they get in a really tiny the ship journey and they go of the, into, it, journey yeah. to the center of the earth? No, that's no, no. no. Magic they go school inside bus. people. Come the fuck on. Magic school bus. Did school did bus. Journey to the center of the earth. Come it's on, not. Guys. It's a body. Yeah. I think it's like in our space. It's in our space. Magic school bus. Okay. No, Keisha. That's a valve. Zach, you're thinking inner space. Thank you. No, he's thinking of the magic school bus. Was Stop. <laughs> what about Interpol, the band? That's a good Miss Frizzle's going to lead what us to the Interpol, answer, okay? The name for the International Police Force? Do you have a redhead teacher here, uh, Woody? <laughs> This, uh, well, perhaps a magic Ms. carriage. Miss Frazzle. Miss Frazzled. Um, <laughs> no, that's no. Shayra. Do you have any other ideas apart from intentionally okay. going asleep? Just, just. I, th- I, I think if I examine one of these bodies up close, that might be something I can try. All right, we. D- we... They're alive still, Chiron. I d- I'm not They're gonna not bodies. It. I, I like. <laughs> I mean, There's still bodies, bodies, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> oh uh, my god. I will give Chiron that one. They There's are still, still bodies. bodies. I guess. Okay, I, let, me, let me touch their corporeal bodies there, Mr. Fucking Giant. Real <laughs> quick here. <laughs> Just say, can I examine the people or patient? You know, can like I a real examine doctor? the bodies. <laughs> oh you. my god. I thought you were a doctor. Jesus Christ. And I'm a better doctor than any of you four. Probably five, because I'll include Woodchuck Woody Boy up there. And the include... bar is on the floor for that. <laughs> Explicitly not a doctor. Can't can't stress that. You aren't even a real fucking giant. You're just I'm a sorry. dwarf. Oh, whoa, whoa. You we can't, can't, no, we can't, can't do this. We can't I, do this. You are just a dwarf. <laughs> Functionally, uh. physically, act like anatomically, you are a dwarf. I don't want to hear it from you. I get big. <laughs> I get double big. Yeah. I'm not even joking. I'm not messing around here. I get double big. Damn it. Okay, you get double big. Woody is like, what the fuck? And he goes into his tree and like like hides basically. Um, and Goose is like, oh, fellas. Uh, I, 
I I understand some some bullshit's happening here, but uh, we got a thing to do. Chanva, you are very big, and we see that inside and out. And and it's okay if you want to stay big right now, but please do not make me burn a third level spell slot casting dispel magic on you. Okay, it's all I'm asking. I don't uh, think it's technically magic, but. Chiron, Chiron, there is a time for talking, and it is not oh, now. Sir Chiron <laughs> says it's not magic, so I am a giant. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> well, you're a grown-up, bigger. Stop boy. talking, but... Chiron. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I need to see one of these uh, beings and bodies and be able to. No, that's <laughs> totally fine. I will happily take you over. Yeah. To the thing. Can he stop being big, though? I, I, well, I guess you don't have to stop being big, but I feel like it's not uh, conducive to the advance. I literally don't know how to get smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Why are okay. you up there? Can you sh yeah. What if you shake the tree? <laughs> if, you're, if your storm giant uh, stays enlarged for more than four hours, call a doctor. It's not. Uh, call a It's a few answer. minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, real quick. Hold on, there's one more place you might want to see. I don't know if it's gonna help, but uh, okay, so that's another one more thing from you. Okay, we're we're nearby. No, god damn it, uh, we're <laughs> nearby, and he leads you very close by to a graveyard. Oh, ah. oh, and so where the downer, bodies actually are? Down there, my guy. Whoa. And Goose leads you to a graveyard marked with a a you know a small amount of gravestones. I mean, clearly, everyone that's died here, but it's not an absorbent amount of uh, like corpses or yeah. uh, mm -hmm. gravestones. Graves. This is not a <laughs> well populist place. One of the stone, one of the gravestones is immaculate compared to the rest of them. It's large. It has a carving of a person reaching down to like help someone else up on it. And it is marked in very plain words, RLA. Yeah. This, uh, uh, I mean, look, it's this is RLA's resting place, uh, RLA's rest, I guess we call it, and it's it's supposed to be a magical place. That's why she wanted to be buried here. But I mean, I I don't know, guys. This this is a little outside of my uh uh you know realm of expertise. Uh, fuck it. It's a first level spell slot. I cast a tech magic. There's magic here, um, and it's it's sort it's almost like it's emanating from the ground, like it, it's it's growing upwards, and this is life magic. It is healing magic. Okay, and it's it's also growth. Like you can tell that the trees and the grass and the flowers here are all sort of like bolstered by this. And made stronger. Yeah, it's, it's, listen. Alistair, roll a d20 for me. And just keep okay. the number. It's a four. All right. That's, I mean, it's this is a magical place. That's yeah. all you can really tell. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Damn it. Well, uh, Ale, did I, Ale was did right. I miss this it? is a magical place. Was, was there a reason he brought us here? Uh, he's just showing you any points of interest in town. Okay. Um, but particularly, he brought you here because it is a known to be a magical place. And at this point, he's looking for anything. Uh, if, if you don't mind me asking, Goose, because uh, the, the guild didn't give us an exact number, how long ago was it since our last passing? They did. It was six years ago. Six years. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, about, about six years ago. She told me I had to, you know, do all the hero stuff from here on out. Uh, luckily, there ain't been too much of that, but... Here, here we go the first time, and I had to call somebody else to solve it. And he's like staring off into the void. I'm assuming Alistair explained to us the nature of the magic here. Yeah, yeah, I would have said yeah. they're, they're, there's healing magic in the ground emanating from this ground. Have any of the incidents occurred around here, or have any of the affected individuals been brought here? Well, we we brought the elder uh, up here when he fell. I I'm not gonna lie. We thought he might have been dead, and he always wanted to be buried here next to RLA. But uh, uh, once we realized he was just sleeping, we uh we we brought him back down to town. 
I'd like to try something. Okay. I'd like to just cast um, Healing Word on anyone. How about on... on I took oh, a Chunver big step damage. one, one sure, day. I'll, I'll cast on Chunver. I just want to cast a healing spell in the, in the life magic place. You start to cast a healing spell. Yeah. It's healing Word? Yeah. That's the only you, one I have prepared. You speak the healing word and it reverberates. Mm. Like it's like echoing through the forest. And Junver, you are healed an additional five hit points over your max. Whoa. Yeah. Like I get that as temporary HP? As temporary or... hit points, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, if only we had a doctor who could heal like that, that would be incredible. Okay, <laughs> literally. <laughs> By the end of this session, I'm going to I'm going to murder either Junver or fucking Alistar and win like and you try Ash. And I'm just gonna walk away from you, <laughs> or like off a really tall ledge because you can't reach that high. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna just, literally taller than you. I'm gonna go and check out one of these sleeping people, I guess, so I don't insult more of the lower. It's a wild thing to say in a graveyard right now, man. Are we leaving the graveyard? Oh, I would like yeah. to bring someone here, but yeah. You have to That's... leave the graveyard to do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you all start heading back down towards the main strip of town with Goose. Um, and as you guys approach the town meeting place, the, the sort of uh, pavilion where they have everyone kept. One, two, three. Okay. Um, Alistair, Wynn, and Junver, mm -hmm. you are all really, really fuck. tired. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Wait. Fuck. And uh, almost mid stride as you're walking, you can see the pavilion in the distance. What, what I've noticed specifically. fall asleep. God damn say, it. No, no. Happened, I was going to say, would there have been a point where I've noticed win because I would have not cared about the other two so at this the current is, moment. So this is uh, rapid. It yeah, goes okay. from I'm walking to yeah. my eyes are heavy to I am down. Is there okay. is there I didn't know if there was oh, no he already said he cast the spell magic. Fuck. Okay. Great. <sighs> and we're going to break there. Yeah, yeah that's good. After one good. more last actual thing. Oh yeah. Alistair, Win, and Junver you all wake up. We're in Tron now. And you are in a city. Oh, God. Oh, no. And above all of you, there is a gigantic, glowing, vibrant, magical crystal. Oh, man. Above okay. you, there is a green version of the hearth. Oh, shit. That's where we're going to stop. Oh, fuck, Chris. Ooh. Yeah. Spicy. Ooh, I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can send messages back to Chiron I from the sleep them. dimension. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you have the. You're the worst person to have that stone. By the no, way. Oh my god! I it's gave the it one to thing, you. It's the one thing you'd never expect. Intentional splitting of the party. No. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that's going to do it for this session of Saving Throw. Uh, if you like this, you can find all of our stuff on twitch.tv slash save data team, youtube.com slash save data team, and you can find this very show on podcast apps. Please leave us reviews. We greatly appreciate it, and it also greatly increases the chance that we keep doing this. We don't have any intention of stopping, but man, does it help to keep being told to do it. Um, you're all handsome. A ding, ding, ding. Amen. Starting off art this week, Sibylla. <laughs> sent in this incredible art of Jones, the Jones and Ash. betrayal arc. It's so good. The Ash Ball yeah. Retrieval arc. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ash has that look in the eyes of just like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I just got tased in the dick. You yeah, know, the fucking the electricity the and everything is so good. The water effects are so good. So good. Uh, I'm about to retroactively make this the thumbnail instead of just the five of us. Cause <laughs> hey, like, you should do that. I should do that. Uh, Sibylla, I'll, I'll DM you, but yeah, I might do this because uh, it looks so fucking good. <laughs> so be posting the Now, the next goal. thing isn't technically art, but you should show it because the the, <laughs> the, the uh, VOD people won't understand the next artwork if they don't see this. Yeah, the VOD, the, that's unfortunately definitely going to get cut in the VOD, but Soapy hosted a poll while we took a bathroom break. Uh asking people to create the perfect perfect ratio of pizza ingredients using channel points 
And Sibylla donated 40,000 channel points <laughs> to get corn at over two thirds of the pizza proportions. Which is proving incredible. In which, fact, which, which, resulted, is which resulted in the art below from her of no. gnomes. Of just so much corn on this pizza. So I hate that it's not distributed. It's just a pile. Yeah, it's just a pile. How much corn, how many corn kernels make a pile? I don't know. It could use more corn if I'm being honest. Oh my God. You, you God. disgust me. Uh, I hey, appreciate hey, hey. that you put this on a real picture on top of like a real Oh, photograph. I didn't even fucking know this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's on top of a pizza seal. That's so good. Yeah. Also, hey, there's pepperonis on here. That's illegal according to the poll. <laughs> the Corona Wizard with not as many sketches tonight, but it first it's the team is Mystery Incorporated. Uh, credit to Pastel Cottontail for the idea. <laughs> oh, Yo, <God. laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <Yes. laughs> oh, that's, that's that's Alistair. I'm sorry. Please read Shaggy. Fucking thing. <laughs> Like Ash, this fog is so sick I could like slice it like a sandwich. <laughs> Rand roots it. <laughs> Let's split up and yoink for clues. The fucking Fred is so good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This one can be so good! It's really funny, y'all. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Daphne Juniper is not what I fucking expected no, when I logged into this no. goddamn ball today. Uh, <laughs> I'm more than just the pretty one. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Corn! And then yes, corn! it's the party enjoying their corn pizza. There's only one slice taken out because only fucking Jumper's eating. Oh my god! Oh, Chris is also with us. Yeah, I'm laughing. <laughs> and I'm the one who has hair, and I'm and I'm remarking that there's that we paid forty thousand corn for this. Fucking, I do appreciate the detail of. Uh, it came out of the guild's budget. Of Chiron putting his foot up on Junver's or on uh, the, Wind's chair. Is this the, the like? It, uh, this has to be a, a template, it's, right? It looks like a meme, but I can't recognize. Yeah, it. I don't is know this the, the meme Avengers template. when they're getting swarmer or whatever? Oh, it could be that. Oh, it is. Yep, it, it is, is Avengers. Avengers Damn! Okay, yeah, yeah, wow! Yeah, wow! Wow! Okay. That's so good. good. Oh, oh yeah! My God! Yeah! yeah. 